hey there welcome back to coding stuff and it's been a month that i have not uploaded any single video it was because i had some throat issues so my voice was not up to the mark but now it's okay so i'll be really consistent with uploading videos so if you haven't followed me on the instagram a link is in the description box do so uh, they are post stuff related programming and android so this video is about introduction to our to do list app using firebase as a backend so previously we have created to do list app using sqlite database as a backend but now in this tutorial series we will use firebase as a backend for this to do app so let me show you the demo app so i'll hit on the run button and as you can see the splash screen it is going to be the same so now i just had one task so let me add some task here so now uh, we also have this set due date so if i hit on this set due date a uh, time uh, sorry date picker dialog will pop up and you can select date from here so i'll select 30 march and i'll hit on ok and then save so as you can see uh, the task has been added here and it has been also saved in our cloud firestore so as you can see this is new task and so the due date is 33 uh, 2021 and also we can just uh, have checked on the task and on this as well and we can also undo that so also we have two more functionalities like uh, we have in the previous to do list tab using SQLite so we can edit the task or we can delete the task so again we have two more functionalities like we had in to do list tab using SQLite database so we can edit the task and we can delete the task so if I swipe the task to the left side bottom sheet dialog will pop up and we can edit the task and as you can see the button is disabled now but as soon as I write something or edit something the button is enabled so again uh, if I swipe this task to the right side one alert dialog will pop up and it will ask us uh, are you sure so if I hit on the cancel this task will be restored but if I hit on this yes so it will delete the task so as you can see so that's it for this video from um, the next video we will start to build this application and do subscribe and thank you for watching